Hi there trailer owners. I just got done repacking the bearings on our trailer here, so it's the perfect time to talk about Lurematic's high performance wheel bearing grease. We're gonna be looking at the line here of their standard high performance grease as well as their high performance marine grease. These greases are available in either tubs, tubes, or cans, depending on how you're gonna be using them. If you are gonna be repacking wheel bearings and you've got a bearing packer, I would highly recommend getting either a can or a tub so you can fill those packers easily. If you're going to just be easy lube on your Zerk fittings here with your grease gun, then you can get it in your 14 ounce tubes. That will slide right into your grease gun so you can use that. The high performance wheel bearing grease is gonna be great for something like our camper or our gooseneck trailer here. While the marine grease is going to be ideal for your boat, jet ski, and other submersible trailers. Both the marine and the regular high performance grease is going to have a GCLB rating by the NLGI, which is the highest rating possible. They're both going to be a NLGI grade number two, which gives it a consistency close to peanut butter. Our standard grease has a drop point of about 520 degrees Fahrenheit, and that's when it starts to break down. With our marine grease, it has similar properties, but it's going to have additional anti-corrosion properties in it to help resist against rust and keep out any moisture. And the drop point is going to increase to 550 degrees Fahrenheit. The marine grease here provides excellent corrosion protection under severe conditions caused by salt water and air. And it's able to do this because of its special calcium sulfonate complex, which is a water insoluble formula, keeping it ideal for those marine applications. One thing to keep in mind with wheel bearing greases and really all greases in general is that the properties of the grease are specific to its chemical compound. So it's not a good idea to mix multiple types of greases together. If they're made of different compounds, those compounds can potentially react with one another and cause the grease to break down. And once it starts to break down, it's not, you're not gonna have those same lubricating properties that you did before, and it could cause damage to your components. So when replacing your wheel bearing grease, if you're gonna repack your bearings and stuff, I highly recommend replacing all of it if you're unsure what grease is there. One way you can somewhat tell is by color, but you can't go by color alone because some manufacturers do use similar colors, but they may have different chemical compositions. So if you've got red wheel bearing grease, then I would recommend using the high performance grease here to replace that. And if you've got marine grease, which is going to usually be the green color here, then I would recommend that. But I do recommend you take out all that old grease and make sure you're using all fresh grease so you don't have any mixtures between those compounds. And that completes our look at Lubramatic's line of wheel bearing grease.